In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Uh, today we will continue our series of approaches. And uh, for today, our subject will be the evangelism for kids. Uh, first of all, let's ask why we should evangelize to kids and how. Why specifically the kids? First of all, the child is the future local servant. Whenever we go to any country, whenever we speak to any non-believer, usually if you speak to a kid and he accepts the faith, after many years he will be a good servant for Christ. And if you put the faith inside his heart as early as you can, you will find a great saint and God can make use of him to preach his word to the whole country. So looking to the kids as the future servants will help you to focus on the kids. And also, you know, the child is easier to be formed than shaped. Sometimes it's not easy to convince some adult to accept the Christian faith and you need some apologetics and you need to have um, good reasoning and logic but for a kid he needs you to love him and he easily can accept the faith and transformed into a good Christian. Another reason to start with the kid is the child conveys to his family what the church servant cannot. Usually the child can be a good teacher to the whole family. When the child accepts uh, how to pray, how to sing spiritual song, how to preach love and peace, usually he will tell his brothers, sisters, sometimes his parents about this Christian faith and they may accept faith following him. Another good reason to start with the kids, that the child is less infected by the world's thoughts and its lusts. When you start preaching the word of God to a child, the child is still a pure-hearted and so he can easily love Christ and he can easily live the good Christian life. But for an adult, a non-believer, usually he had many bad experiences, he lived a sinful life and so it's not easy for him to repent or to, try to, to start new life. Another good reason for a child, the child receives love easier than the adults and also searches for a role model. The child can easily pick up the good virtues of any good model. So a child can accept love easily and can send love easily to anyone and by this he can easily accept the stories of the Bible, love of God, and love of the servant, and so he can be a good loving person. Also, you know many children living around in the whole world are homeless, poor, and they need to be loved, they need to be served, and they need mercy. So doing merciful acts with the children, they can easily follow you and follow the word of God. Another good reason to choose the children if you have a chance while preaching the word of God in any country, that when you serve children, usually you serve the whole community. And also this service given to the children, accepted by the whole congregation, and even the elder will look in a respectful way to your service because you are covering the needs of their children, you are giving their kids good and funny time, so by doing this you will accept all. The second important question, how? How should we serve or preach the word of God to a child? You know the children cannot accept um, um, long lectures like the adults, they do not need such a logic in their conversation, but uh, they need three main pillars. First of all, 
they need love. The child can easily be touched by the honest love. The second point, they need the role model. They need to see the good virtues moving around, not just stories or lessons about being good. The third pillar is they need communication, they need discussion, they need conversation, they need to speak back to the servant. So by these three main pillars uh, of the service of the children, you can catch a good number of kids to the Word of God. Uh, also, the kids like to play, so we may use some games to preach the Word of God. So it's a good way to teach uh, the Gospel by the sport activities. But when you play with the children, you remind yourself that it's not a kind of just a game, but you need to put the, the virtue, the meaning, the Christian touch while praying, while playing with them. Also the groups games, when you play in a group, you can teach them how to love, how to share, how to respect others, how to deal with the conflicts. So in these games, you can give them a lot. Also, you choose the game which is related to their age. Don't give them some complicated games for a very young age, and also don't give simple games for the elder ones. Better to choose the game in which there is movement and liveliness, because any game while they are sitting on their chairs will not be very funny to them. They need to move, they need to laugh, and it's important to give good time to them in whatever classes you are giving in the church or outside the church. Also, choosing games better to have uh, some mind steering, like let them think, let them ask, let them um, think thoroughly what's behind the question or behind the game. Uh, remind yourself also that the game may implant a good principle which will stay for the whole life and which will affect their behavior for the coming years. When it comes to teaching the songs, the church songs or even uh, whatever spiritual song, you remind yourself as a preacher that any child loves to sing and love the music. So you need to have some music and you need to choose a simple melody for the simple song you are teaching them. Remind yourself also that this melody established the feeling of belonging when a group of children sing many times a good beloved song. They belong to this song and they belong to the meaning of the song and by doing this you can touch their hearts in a Christian way. Also, you should start by the easier melody, the easier songs, and with the age, with a training course, you can give them some complicated or Coptic songs. Also, you have to make sure that you are not uh, monotonous in your attitude and repetition is not a boring act. Sometimes we need to move and doing some um, movements while singing. This will help them to focus on the song and to keep it by heart. Also, when it comes to preaching the story of the Bible, usually focus on the story. Don't give many spiritual sentences or meanings. Just focus on the story and try to make the story uh, alive. They taught us that for a child, do not give many outcomes of the story, many targets, just focus on one meaning. Even if the story is full of many meanings, but for a child, better to catch one single meaning. Better also to use some acting while telling the story and 
a creativity, creative ideas, and some sense and taste of the beauty of the story, so they can imagine the story by their simple heart. You can use from the environment around some means of animation. We need not to draw always on the walls or use the laptops, but sometimes even on a mountain or on the sea or in a desert, we can use the environment around to tell the story as our Lord uh, Jesus Christ was telling the simple people many stories using the environment. Better to avoid the complicated stories. Some of the stories of the Bible are very long and it, it, they have many names. By doing this, you know, the child may lose track. But it's better to focus on the simple stories and telling them in a good way. Also, you know, old kids like heroes. So when uh, you are telling a story, better to focus on the hero of the story so they can follow you uh, and focus on the hero. Sometimes it's a good way to ask the children to make or to act the story, to play the story, to do the uh, parts of the story in their way. By doing this, they will never forget the story and it may affect their hearts for the whole life. Also, when it comes to the young age, it's better to use the colors and painting in uh, focusing on the story or the meaning you want to focus on. Better to try to link the story with the reality, but without exaggeration. You may ask some children to tell you uh, some similar circumstances or similar stories may happen in their life. So they can tell you some of the practical stories happening around related to the story of the Bible. But do not exaggerate uh, so they can accept the meaning easily. Better to avoid going into many details which are not important in the virtue or the meaning you want to focus on. So going into many details will distract them and will never um, help them to focus. Better to revise some of the meanings or some of the act actions happened in the story. By revision, you make sure that all the children are following you and they, ca they keep the story by their hearts. Also, they taught us to focus on one single verse, short verse, and repeat it while telling the story of the Bible. Even if it's not in the story itself, but you can add this verse and repeat the verse many times so they can keep it by their hearts. Again, the children are very good recipients to the Word of God and we need to pray for this and to start practicing how to evangelize the word of God to children. Glory to God. Amen.